Hello again, folks. Now, I thought the Olympic Games was all about honour, integrity, principle uh, and fairness. Fairness being the main one. You are competing against people on exactly the same level as you. And uh, the best one, the person with the most endurance, strength, the, the will to, to win, uh, wins, basically wins that gold, silver or bronze medal. But, of course, the cancer that is wokeness, political correctness, has seeped into the Olympic Games, and this year it's worse than ever. So we know, and we've been told by some of the women's football teams, there will be kneeling for Black Lives Matter. So rest assured, if you're watching the Olympics, that's going to get thrust down your throat yet again by multi-millionaire uh, black sports stars who are very privileged, yet they're doing that because of... Um, the victims of something or other, I don't know. So anyway, the biggest controversy at this year's Olympic Games in Tokyo is Laurel Hubbard. Now, if you don't know who Laurel Hubbard is, Laurel Hubbard... <sighs> How can I describe this now without being prosecuted? <laughs> Good God. Laurel Hubbard is a person who identifies as a female, hasn't had the operation as far as I know. If this person has, then I stand corrected. And this person is now competing as a female in the women's weightlifting category for New Zealand. Now, I'm going to give you my opinion on this in a bit. I can, you know, you can guess what my opinion is going to be, being a conservative. Of course, many idiots out there mistake the word conservative with racist, fascist, Nazi, bigot. But first, on to New Zealand. Now, New Zealand is... How can I describe it? It's really... It's a proper woke country. The country is infested with far left-wing extremist uh, bigots and anti-capitalist Marxist activist morons who use social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. All companies, of course, that float on the stock exchange, they're on the market, therefore using the capitalist system. The irony, folks, I don't think these idiots get irony. So these bigoted Marxist activists, they use social media, social media platforms which make money from capitalism, in order to campaign for conservatives to get kicked off social media because they don't like our opinions, basically. So New Zealand is full of these nuts. And of course, Laurel Hubbard is a New Zealander. So this woke mess of a country is, of course, declaring Laurel Hubbard a hero. And also, lastly, about New Zealand, I'd like to point out that this is the country which recently had a petition set up in order to destroy the life of a man, a conservative man, simply because he pointed out some very uncomfortable truths about the top-tier hierarchy of their Maori community. Now, you all know who I'm talking about. It's, of course, Lee Williams crossed the Rubicon. And now there's a petition out to get him removed, booted from the country, simply for having these opinions, these wrong opinions, for wrong think, for going against the grain. Now, that was me thinking, if you didn't like someone because whatever, <laughs> and uh, you told them to go back from whence they came, go back home, go back where you came from, then that was racist and xenophobic. But not in this case, because Lee Williams is a white conservative uh, Westerner, isn't he? So it's okay. It's okay when they do it. So yeah, that's the kind of uh, community, that's the social atmosphere that a person like Laurel Hubbard comes from. Political correctness. And if you don't agree, if you have a different opinion then you will get prosecuted, folks. They will ruin your life. So anyway, my opinion on Laurel Hubbard, of course, I completely disagree with Laurel Hubbard competing in the women's weightlifting because it's completely unfair to biological women. Because, look, this is an uncomfortable truth. Again, it's inconvenient for some, the lefties, of course, but there's a massive difference between biological male and biological female bodies. So Laurel Hubbard in occupying the body that Laurel Hubbard inhabits, which has a stronger heart, bigger muscles, bigger frame, an all-round stronger body than a biological female, as a distinct unfair advantage. So literally all the other biological women in this uh, weightlifting group won't have a cat's chance in hell of beating Laurel Hubbard. Notice I'm not using the pronouns he or she, and also, it's transpired that Laurel Hubbard actually took the place of another biological woman, a biological female, who wanted to compete in the Olympics for her country uh, in weightlifting. This person was discarded simply because, I believe, of woke politics and the, the stupid 
New Zealand um, Olympic Committee, whatever it is that chose Lola Hubbard, wanted to show that they were woke, completely correct, and look at us, we're, we're right on, we're with it. So this poor woman was literally thrown under the bus in the name of woke shittery and political correctness. And also, I believe, transgender politics. And that's what it is, folks. It's politics. It's fascist politics because, you know, I, I am unsure whether to say he or she in regards to Laurel Hubbard because I knew if I picked the wrong one, then my life's literally over. How sad is that? Now, I believe in order to fix this, there's a better solution to this whole mess. And my solution to this would be to have a separate category to to the whole sporting system. You've got a male category and a female category. You know, there's a different category for a reason. Like I've said, female bodies are different to male bodies biologically. You know, if there was a mix, then females wouldn't have a chance of winning anything, would they? Because men are bigger, stronger and faster athletically than women. That's a fact. But I think it would be a far more fairer system if transgender athletes had their own categories and represented themselves and whichever country they come from making it a fairer system uh, transgender people can compete against each other and biological women don't get thrown under the bus yet again by the left anyway that's my opinion tell me what you think please comment share subscribe to all my stuff and of course you can support my channel by buying me a beer the link's down below so until my next one roger trout